Hi there and welcome to another PSD2 spoon fed Photoshop tutorial. I'm Gavin Steele and I'm going to be taking you through Fabio's stunning digital smoke effect. You can check out all the steps in the tutorial over at the website psdtoots.com. Right, in this tutorial we're going to be using Illustrator and Photoshop. Now I'm not brilliant in Illustrator but I'll take you through all the steps on how you're going to create your smoke lines. Okay, we're going to outline our shape in Illustrator and then we're going to take it into Photoshop. So let's get started by loading up Illustrator. Okay, so we're going to start by drawing out the outline of our smoke. So using the pen tool, we're going to make sure we haven't got any fill, and we're going to make sure our outline is a 70% grey, which I think is that one there. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to start down here and just click. I'm going to click again and holding down, I'm going to drag aiming down in the direction I want the next line to go. So something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to have to the side here, like so. And then I'm going to draw the second line that's going to just about outline the same kind of direction as our first line. I'm just going to make sure it crosses and then ends up in a similar kind of area. Okay, with that bottom path still selected, we're going to change its stroke color. Okay, I'm going to do that by just coming over to its stroke on the right hand side and changing it to white. Okay, if you didn't see that, you could have just clicked off and then clicked it again, come up here and just set it to white. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to fade from the top line gray and we're going to blend it down to the white line. So we're going to use this blending tool down here. And for this, we're just going to click on the ends of each of these lines. And you can see that it's done that for us. I'm going to hit return or enter, and I'm going to set the number of steps to 200. There we go. I could have got to that blending options if I come up to objects and come to blend, and then blending options, it brings up the exact same screen. Okay. So... I'm happy with that shape, that's the outline of some smoke. I've actually created some other shapes over here that I might take into the, the project later on. And again, I did them in exactly the same way. I just outlined two lines, one in dark grey, one in white or really light grey. And you can see some really nice ripple, effect, ripple effects going on there. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is click on whichever of your smoke layers you want to take into Photoshop, copy it and then paste it right into Photoshop. So you can see I've pasted in these two smoke layers here, smoke one and smoke two, and I've put them inside folders shape one and shape two. And I've pasted them in as smart objects. Okay, you'll get a little dialog box asking you how you want to paste them in from Illustrator. Just use smart objects. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is click on each of these folders and I'm going to set them to multiply. Right. Then with each of the actual smoke layers themselves, I'm going to apply a filter and a Gaussian blur of one pixel. So I just set that and I reduce that down to one pixel and I click on OK. And the same for smoke two. Okay, I can just click on Gaussian blur. I could have pressed Command F on a Mac, press OK. So there we've go. We've added a bit of smoothness to our smoke shapes. Now I'm going to duplicate each of those layers inside its folder. I'm just clicking on the layer and dragging it down to new layer. And we're going to set the blending mode to overlay for those new layers. Okay, now above all of these layers, we're going to apply an adjustment layer. So I'm coming up to layer, new adjustment layer, and we're going to create a hue and saturation layer. Click on OK, and that's probably going to put it inside that folder, but I'll correct that in a second. Yeah, it has. I'm going to set that to 200 hue and 55 saturation and 2 for the lightness. Click on OK. I'm just going to move that out of that folder so it sits above all the other layers and applies itself down through the layers. OK, come back to your smoke one layer, and we're going to duplicate that 
and then we're going to convert it, that duplicated layer, to a raster image. So I'm going to control click, I can right click on the PC and I'm going to rasterize that layer and then I'm going to take it all the way from the bottom and I'm going to drag it above all the other layers. Okay, set the blending mode to color and then we're going to apply it a, sorry, not color, color dodge. Let's color dodge, there we go. Okay, it creates a nice little highlight throughout the smoke. We're then going to come to filter, we're going to apply another Gaussian blur. And this time we're going to set it to 25. And then click on OK. Come back down to smoke one, we're going to reduce that back to 50. 50%. Okay, and we're going to duplicate the whole group. So just click on the little arrow next to the group. We're going to drag that down to a new layer. Okay. Now on that new duplicated layer, we're going to apply a gradient mask to it. So we're going to fade it from left to right. So come over to our layers, um, add a layer mask. I'm going to bring them all at the minute. Okay. We're going to come over to the gradient tool and we're going to choose black to white. Click on OK. We're going to select radial gradient. And because I've got black to white, I'm going to start from the right hand side and come over to the left. So I'm just going to minimize that for a second, holding down Shift. Okay, you can see it just faded away the ends a little bit there. Okay, you can see that over here to the right. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do after I've duplicated that layer is I'm going to duplicate the same layer one more time. So bring that down to the new layers. And this time we're going to rotate the images inside. Okay, so I'm just going to use the free transform, click on OK. And I'm just going to lift it up. And you can see that it's starting to create little shadows and little effects. Okay, just gonna control Z that one second. Gonna make sure I reduce our opacity right down to about 20%. Okay. Okay, just play around with it until you get the smoke where you think you want it. And we're going to go from thick on the left hand side, and we're going to thin it out towards the right. You can just move that into place, just creating different wafts and a bit of depth with the opacity. I'm going to go back into Illustrator and I'm going to select this ripple. I'm going to copy that, come back to Photoshop, and then inside one of those folders, I'm going to paste it as a smart object. Okay, then I'm just going to move it about. Don't place just yet. Okay, I'm going to bring that ripple maybe over the top a little bit. About there. And I'm going to fade that right down as well. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And again, you can keep applying those different smoke layers to the overall image until you get an effect that you're really happy with. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the top of our layers and we're going to add a new gradient. So create a new layer. We're going to come over to our gradient tool and we're going to select a gradient <clears throat> that goes from white to a pale gray. I should have that already preset. I do here. So it's white and that's going to be going to this pale grey of C4, CC, DO. So just click on OK. OK. And again, that's going to be going from left to right. So holding down Shift, I'm going from left all the way over to the right, like so. Let's go back to our layers. We're then going to set that to exclusion in our blending modes. And you can see it's created a really great effect. Then we're going to apply one more layer at the top. And again, we're going to do another gradient. This time, we're going to go from a brownie 
color to a light blue. That brown is 5F4547. To a blue of 7096E4. And then just click on OK. And again, I'm going to be going from left to right. Okay, and then we're going to set that layer to color. And we're going to reduce it right down to 50%. Oops, 150, just 50. Right, and there you have it. It's a great effect by Fabio, Digital Smoke. Now you've got to play around with your different wafts of smoke and playing around with Illustrator to get the shapes that you, that you like. Play around with opacity and things like that. And you should get some really, really good results. So. It's a great tutorial by Fabio over at psdtoots.com. I'm Gavin Steele. Thanks very much for watching.